Hey Diamonds, welcome back. I know it's been a super long time since I've done a video and an even long, longer time since I've done a favorites video, but I don't want to show you guys stuff that I'm repeating in different favorites videos. So this video is actually going to be kind of like my summer favorites products that I've been using since June, July, August. Um, and I'll probably continue to use them and I really really love all of them so if you want to see my favorites videos then stay tuned Going in no particular order, I'm going to start with this, which is the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC, and this is Center of the Universe. It gives a, is it going to focus? Focus, there we go. Now this is so versatile, I've actually used it on the eyes, but mostly on the cheeks. It gives a nice peachy orange hint, as well as a nice shimmery glow. Um... Follow that by Gold Deposit by MAC. And I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this product. But it has done nothing but good for me. I love it. I love it. It gives a nice glow. I actually use it all across here because during the summer, as you can see, I don't know if you can see my tan line right there. I wore a lot of either sleeveless shirts or... um skinny strap shirts so it gives like your chest area and everything a really really nice shimmer especially when you're on the beach next thing i've used also to go in the area of shimmer and bronze and everything are my two kind of body shimmer bronzers this one from mac is called golden bronze and a good dupe for that an inexpensive dupe is the elf body glow so if you don't want to pay for this one you can go ahead hit up target i think i got this one at target and it really is that they work the same give a nice all over body glow take a big brush kind of like this or a big fan brush like the one from the vortex collection at sedona lace and just get it all over your body and it gives a really really nice shimmer especially when you're on the beach and everything without having to like lather oils and stuff i don't like that okay another thing is my lotion from avon i think i got this last year <laughs> And I've been so bad, like I only use it in the summer. So I have no idea if they still make it. This is the Skin So Soft Mineral Gems Glamorous Gold Body Lotion. And it does the same thing as the body things I just showed you. Except it's a lotion, so put it all over your body. And everywhere the sun hits you, you are just glistening and glowing. So if I don't have time to get the powder and get the powder brush and dust all over my body i will hop out the shower put this bad boy on everywhere and i am good to go i got this in i want to say june or maybe mid july and it's basically a, it's an illuminizing face glow it's called touch of light from maybelline and it's really good as a highlighter um, just dab it on there and just rub it in those places that you want to highlight Cupid's bow, your chin, wherever. Um, I've even added a little bit of it to my tinted moisturizer when I actually put on like real makeup and it, it helps with a nice glow and everything. I guess my whole thing for this summer was glowing and all that good stuff. And another one I used alongside that was the MAC Strobe Clean and here comes the baby. So the MAC Strobe Cream has the same effect. You can add it to your foundation or your tinted moisturizer or your moisturizer or your concealer and it'll give a nice glow. A 
another thing, another inexpensive highlight for your cheeks is the e.l.f. Gotta Glow. And it's kind of like a, a dupe for NARS Albatross. So if you don't want to spend NARS Albatross money, this is like three bucks. And you could find it on their website or on Target. No! No! Next up is Soft and Dry Dry Gel Deodorant. I love these in the summer because they're clear. They go on clear. And let's be honest, us brownies, that white deodorant makes our underarms white so if you're wearing a strapless shirt and you go and you raise your arms and i'm seeing snowflakes that's not cute at all this is what you need to do next is my mac studio finish concealer in nc45 um i'm almost hitting pan with this i've used this a lot for under my brows yeah i know i didn't do my brows today i'm not gonna wear makeup today okay except for my lips i did a tutorial sue me and i've been pairing it with this concealer brush from Coastal Scents. So these two have been my uh, buddies for the brows. I've actually been doing my brows a lot more. And for my brows, I use Max Brow Pencil in Spiked. But since I lightened my hair, I actually have to get a lighter color. Another concealer that I've been loving is my Oh, excuse me, burped. That's not cute. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I am NC45, of course. That's like your app, your typical MAC. Any black girl walks in and give them NC45. Now, someone asked me a while ago what was an inexpensive dupe for MAC Fresh Brew. And I think this kind of comes close. This is NYX's Butter from their matte collection and I think this is a great dupe because when I actually saw this in the store I said oh that looks like fresh brew um, so I believe this is a great dupe for it I'll probably have a picture on Instagram with the two of them together make sure y'all follow me on Instagram I do a lot and, and if you follow me on Instagram then you've been with me all summer long I do a lot of pictures there obviously pictures but like lips of the day eyes of the day face of the day so if I don't do a tutorial if I don't do a full face and I just want to do an eye or something and I'm trying out a product or something I'll have pictures there um, so I have a picture up of NYX and Fresh Brew together side by side because I really think they are a great dupe or it is a great dupe for Fresh Brew. Okay, more lips. Exfoliate people, exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate and moisturize. So my exfoliator that I have been using a lot is the Lush Mint Julep Lip Scrub and it smells like chocolate mint smells so freaking good so freaking good and it looks like this just take a little bit rub your lips together do all of that rub it with a warm damp cloth and you're fine and then i've been moisturizing with these three things this is the eos lip balm don't ask me which one it is um i want to say summer fruit i don't know mac tender tone and purring this is the orange one that I really really like but just be careful because you can easily pick up too much of that stuff and the other one is the lip tinted oh app Apple Jacks Calm Moan Tinted Lip Conditioner SPF plus lavender from Mac I really really like that I like the original the regular one because it has this really nice vanilla flavor fragrant yeah okay um I have been there's another lip gloss that I've been using and I just can't find where it is and I'm going to be pissed if I don't find it. But I've been using my NYX Tans lip gloss. I finished my other one so I went and got another one and as you can see I've been enjoying this bad boy. It's a very neutral color for me. And another one is this Clean Colors New Spin with Shea Butter. I got this from my girl, Girly35 Diva Diva. She hooked me up with this and I love it. It is so pretty. What else? Um, now for eyes, I have been, and you guys have seen this like in my last couple of videos, for a highlight under my brow, I've been using um, Glamour Doll Eyes Bare Naked. 
Is it going to focus? Bare Naked Pigment. And in the jar, it actually looks fairly matte. Focus. Work with me, baby. It's It seems fairly matte, but when you put it on, it does have a nice frost. Not shimmer. It's not glittering. But I've been using that with and my brush that I've been using a lot to do my highlight as well as my kind of blending color right there is this Sodona Lace EB13. I believe this is in the Vortex collection and it's just like a great overall brush and I've been using it in here and to get up under with the highlight under there in the crease and wipe it off and put it on there it's just really 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 great brush I actually want another one and then just because I want to finish it I want to get these out my my face I hate with liquid liner I've been using the NYX studio liquid liner extreme black uh, dramatic color payoff studio effect I've been using this liquid liner and if I want that extra pop of color, I'm using their glitter liners. And I've been using the purple one a lot. But of course. And it's called Passion. I've been using that. And they're both from NYX. I was going to say they're both from glitter. Um, this one, mostly because I'm trying to get rid of it. I, it just doesn't seem to end. It's like the more I use it, it multiplies in the bottle. And it's driving me bananas. And finally is my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara. I was kind of skeptical at first because I don't really have a lot of Rimmel products. So I thought I needed a new mascara. So let me try this one. And this is all I've been using. I really, really like it. I like the flare. I like the volume. I really, really like it. So yeah, that's definitely one that I do have a, a backup of. Shh. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, since Fresh Brew was sitting right there, I thought I'd show you. So here's Max Fresh Brew, and here is Nix's Butter. I think they are very, very close in comparison. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hands as a roll of So obviously the main difference is going to be that the matte, the NYX is a matte finish. So it's going to give you a little more potency. Um, whereas Max Fresh Brew is a luster. So it has some shimmer. has a luster a finish to it. And it's creamier. But there you go. So if you don't mind a matte lipstick, then the butter... And then if you want something more creamier, the MAC Fresh Blue. But I think they are dead on in terms of color, definitely. In terms of finish, they're totally different, obviously. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Peace!